All right, we're going to take a look at how it is that enzymes catalyze reactions. We should remember that for every enzyme, there is a substrate, perhaps more than one substrate. That substrate will be attracted possibly through polar positive-negative interactions or some sort of other uh, molecular attraction to a certain region of the enzyme called the active site. The active site is the place where the reaction will actually occur, the catalyzation. In this case, it is a catabolic reaction, which is being uh, an object being broken apart. Enzymes can also put things together in an anabolic reaction. It is appropriate to look at this uh, not as necessarily a lock and key model, but as an induced fit model. The enzyme is going to change its shape a little bit to fit the substrate. The substrate changes its shape a little bit to fit the enzyme, which explains why it is that some enzymes can have multiple different substrates. Ultimately, what the enzyme is doing is it is stressing the bonds inside of its substrate. That stressing of the bonds lowers something called the activation energy of the reaction and allows it to proceed more quickly, for less energy, and ultimately it will occur as a result of the enzyme, even though it may have happened, uh, it could happen potentially on its own. The activation energy shown here is any, any substance is going to have sort of a base level of energy that it has. Now the activation energy is the amount of energy required for a reaction to occur. You add energy, you add energy, you add energy, and then in this case, the resulting substance actually has lower energy than the original substance. This would be called an exergonic reaction because the original substance lost energy to the universe. An enzyme would make this reaction happen for a lower level of activation energy. It would not require quite as much energy to occur. And ultimately, you should remember that enzymes also have these things called inhibitors. If they attach themselves to the active site, that is called a competitive inhibitor. A non-competitive inhibitor attaches to something called an allosteric site, which is not the active site, and therefore it can't be bumped out of that region by the substrate. The substrate might bump this guy out, not so much this guy. Uh, 